What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here and today we're going to be talking about how to get over a girl. Um, you know, you're probably hurting right now. If you're watching this video and this is a rele very relevant thing for you, chances are you're probably waking up, you're feeling like someone's just stabbed a knife through your chest, you know, and you have to deal with this all throughout the day. It sucks. Most of the messages that I get from guys are about a girl that they're having a lot of problems with and 90% of the time my answer is like, go find a girl who isn't giving you so many problems. And problem, the problem is for a lot of these guys is that they're so emotionally attached to this person that it's very difficult for them to do that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be covering in this video is how to move on. And look, if you're a woman who's watching this video too, I actually think you're gonna get a lot out of this because there's a lot of things that I'm gonna be covering that are pretty universal. Uh, pretty universal when it comes to moving on. So, um, you're probably not feeling too good, like I said. You know, for me, when, it, when I break up with somebody, when I leave somebody that I really like, and my life is, I move around a lot, okay? Uh, I travel around and my life is a lot of short-term relationships. I'm with a girl for a short period of time, then maybe I move places or then maybe I go with another girl or something like that. Usually I'm moving around and, you know, with my entrepreneurship life, it's, it's, it's tough for me to maintain something for very long. and you know, when a relationship, when relationships are short, they end. And sometimes I really like the person. Sometimes I'm really, you know, they make me feel really, really good. And it sucks when it ends. And before, when I was in college, it would take me so freaking long to move on from a girl. Like, you know, I remember there was one girl who I was crazy about in college. It, I think it, I think I didn't stop thinking about her for two years. Like for two years, I was thinking about her. And, you know, for the first few months, I was a wreck. Like, it took me that long. Now, probably take me a week or two at the most, okay? Um, and it's because I do a lot of these things that I'm about to tell you, okay? So the first thing is unfollow her. Get off of her social media. Don't be paying attention to any of that stuff. If you got pictures in your phone, delete them or send them somewhere where you can't get them. Um, delete the messages that you have because you're going to be staring back at those too. You know, I wouldn't make a big deal and block her if she's not actively trying to message you and annoy you. But if, you know, she is, maybe that's a step that you have to take. Okay, whatever you need to do to get her out of your life so you're not seeing things that remind you of her, um, that's what you got to do. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't do this in a very callous way. I'm just doing it for myself and, you know, for me to move on. Like, that's what you have to do. Do it immediately. There's no reason to wait. Okay. All right. So, uh, now I also recommend that after you've done this, you should write a letter to yourself. Okay. If you feel like you need to do this, this is something that I've done for previous girls that <laughs> every time I say, I'm not going to call them again or text them again. Boop, boop, boop. I get a text message and then, you know, <laughs> history repeating itself. Okay. So write yourself a letter. Even if this person isn't contacting you, it'll prevent you from thinking about contacting them. Or if you feel super low, it'll remind you all of the things that were, um, that were not going so well. And look, if they broke up with you and you feel like things were going really, really well, maybe you're not ready to write that letter. But if they broke up with you, that's a sign that, they don't, that, that they're not trustworthy for you as well. So that's a bad thing for you too, okay? You know, even if somebody leaves me, I wanna be with somebody who wants to be with me. And usually, like almost every single time, when this happens, I can usually figure out why they did it. Maybe they wanted a relationship with me and I wasn't willing to give that to them. Maybe um, I was, honestly, like some women don't, let me just put it to you this way. Um, I'm not for everybody, you know, my life, who I am, and uh, it's, it's tough being with me sometimes. So like, I can usually reflect on, maybe you guys who are watching this video, you have some of these qualities that you aren't really willing to come to terms with. And that's okay, but this is time to write and reflect and learn from your experience. But once you've done this, once it's on paper, you move on, okay? And you can read it again to remind yourself if you're feeling down, but typically I like to write it down because that way I write it and it's, uh, it's kind of already taken care of. Okay, so write yourself a letter. Now the next, and this is probably gonna be the most important part is, you know, some people say that the best way to get over somebody is to get underneath somebody else or on top of, <laughs> somebody else, um, depending on what you're doing. You, look, um, I've done that. I've done that more times than I can count. More than, more than dozens of times I've done that. And yeah, sure, you feel good for like 10 seconds or however long it takes for you to orgasm. <laughs> and after the orgasm's done, 
you know, you're right back to where you were before. And sometimes you feel even shittier because you're, you're running away from, you're using this person to run away from your shitty emotions. And when that person is not that person that you're looking for, then you get more disappointed, you get more, like, like it takes a lot out of you. So what I would recommend instead, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, uh, tell you no. Who knows? Maybe you'll meet a girl who you're crazy about too right then and there. But honestly, if you haven't had time to like reflect and you know, make yourself into the best version of yourself, you're probably going to pick somebody that's also going to be bad for you. Because the worst way to pick somebody is, to run, is by, by running away from somebody else or running away from bad feelings. So this is the time to improve your environment. Now, what do I mean by your environment? I mean your friends, I mean your family, I mean your career, I mean your coworkers, I mean the stuff around you. Okay, just because one, one of your relationships has ended doesn't mean you have a whole bunch of other relationships that you can count on as well too. You know, Tony Robbins always says that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. Just because one relationship ends doesn't mean you don't have a whole lot of others to pick you back up. And look, man, if you don't, if you don't really have any friends and that girl was the only friend that you had, that's a sign that now's the time for you to pick up your environment and, you know because you're probably not feeling too good if, if your environment sucks if your environment sucks you probably relied on her for most of your happiness which is the reason why in college it took me so long to move on after that girl dumped me because my environment sucked dude I was clinically depressed I was like I was in a really really bad spot you know like there was a lot of other things going on with me not one person cannot have that much control over your emotions there are almost always other factors going on that are making you sad and sometimes when we have you know somebody we rely on them to for everything and that's just too much that's just too much so have a good environment have a good relationship with your friends and family have a career that you're excited about um, have a daily life and schedule that makes you happy every single day that makes you feel fulfilled that way if somebody comes in that's great but if they go away that's fine too because your life's still great but if your life is bad and somebody comes in then now you're you're putting yourself in a uh, in a bad position. You're being overly reliant on them. So uh, use this as a time to to make sure that your environment's good. Okay. Uh, so most of the tips that I've given you guys have been m pretty universal. This is one that I'll give just for the guys. Um, if you're a guy and you know you broken up with a girl, maybe she left you, and you're really upset about it. Oh, I won't be able to find somebody like her, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm telling you right now, man, if you work on yourself, you will. And there's a good chance you can get somebody even, you know, whatever you consider better than her. The reason why I say this is because men tend to get better with age. We get smarter, more mature, we can accrue more resources, we become more attractive as we get older a lot of times. And so if you are a young guy and this happened, and, and typically guys who are very young, you know, they take these things the hardest, especially if it was your first love. So, you know, give yourself time, dude. You know, you're not, you're not, it's not hopeless for you. And I guarantee you, if you work on yourself and you improve and continue to keep going out there and trying, um, you're definitely going to find somebody better. I can guarantee it. And if you need help with that, you know, I'm here. If you're interested, actually, uh, in my coaching program or one of my mentorship programs, there's a form down below. Uh, click on the link on the form, fill out the form. And if you're a good fit, we'll actually get back to you. Okay. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. And look, you know, I know this is tough. I, I know it's, it's a hard position for you to be in, but uh, it will get better. Time heals all wounds, and doing this will make that time a lot shorter. Good luck out there, you guys.